Greetings. This is a demonstration video for Warehouse Insights new extension inventory quantity adjustment, which is available in a new Warehouse Insight add on catalog available in the latest version 2.12. Installing this extension will add a new menu option in our in item inquiry module of Warehouse Insight. Using that menu action, users will be able to post positive or negative item journal entries to adjust the inventory in their business central environment. This extension can be installed by selecting the application icon in the add-on catalog page and using this install action button. And this will download the extension and you can find that in your extension management page in BC. Using this download extension action, you can download the source code for this extension in case there are any modifications or customizations need to be made. So you would have to, so the clients will have the source code in case that is needed from their team. After the extension is installed, it is going to add an application override and a new menu action to inventory count talk application, which you can see over here. item inquiry document and an override has been created and this is the override that's been created for the application and new menu action is added for the item inquiry doc adjust inventory now to post the item journal entries we need to select a batch that will be used by the scanner application to post the journal entries that needs to be selected in the device configuration card. If you open this device configuration card under warehouse and under the general fast tab, you will find the item journal batch that needs to be selected. It will filter a review filter list for the item journal temp item journal batches which have item journal templates set to item and you need to make sure that the batch that you select does not have a number series attached to it otherwise you will get posting errors because it will be looking for a specific number next in the number series available and we don't want that so make sure the number series is not set for the batch that the user will be using to post to now once we select the batch in here uh, we're good to go Now if we open the item inquiry application and open the item doc for any of the items that we want to post the entries for. Now at the current location, we have quantity eight of this 1000 item. Now by selecting the adjust inventory button, when we click on that, it will give us an option for a positive or negative adjustment. Let's do a positive adjustment of the item. This item does not is not lot tracked, not serial tracked, so we don't need to add those information in here. And we select two, and once we hit OK, it will post the positive item journal entry. and the item quantity has been updated by 10. We can also check the item ledger entries for that location. And we see a positive adjustment for that item and quantity of two has been added. Similarly, for different items, there could be lot tracked items or serial tracked items in the business center environment. Um, suppose this and this item over here, this item is lot tracked. So when we'll be posting a positive adjustment for this item, we need to select a lot. So let's name this lot test one two, and we will make a positive adjustment of five and the quantity will be increased by five it will become 15 over here and we could similarly put a negative adjustment as well so we do adjust, adjust inventory we select negative and we need to select the lot that will be 
put posting the negative entry against and let's decrease it by two and when we do that a negative adjustment will be posted and two of the quantities will be deleted two of the item quantities will be deleted from the inventory similarly for serial track items we can also post a positive and a negative adjustment but since um, only one serial number can be attached to one item we can only post one positive or negative adjustment at a point so for this item let's select a uh, let's do a positive adjustment it's already defaulted to one because for serial number we need to select a single serial number for a single item so let's select the serial number ser1 and when we do one it will be increased by one the quantity of 1004 item so that's been updated as well and we also have a serial number lot available and there's only one quantity so if we check the uh, choose lot and serial tracking number only one would show up because there's only one item of one serial number available in this location now this location did not have bins so we did not have to add the bin information for positive and negative adjustments now let's connect to a different location which uh, has bins enabled there will be just a one additional step that we need to do for posting adjustments so just do that Now again, we go to item inquiry menu and we open the item card for an item. Now, some of the inventory already exists for this item and there are two bins in this location, 1896 and 1900. We can add the adjustments for these ones. We select the adjust inventory button it will ask us if we want to create the adjustment for the selected bin the line that we select we had selected before or if we want to select a do an adjustment for a different bin so if there were two bins 1896 and 1900 and if i want to put against 1900 it also will give me that option <clears throat> now i'm putting it against 1896 now I put a positive adjustment and increase the quantity by five and it will turn this to 20. Now selecting this again. Now if, as we see for 1900 bin, we the quantity available is only nine and we can all decrease it further. We go to adjust inventory bin and this time let's select a different bin do it against 1900 you can also scan a bin or man manually add the bin number in the text field now let's put a negative adjustment and decrease it by four now it's going to refresh the card and the item will be decreased by four and it turns five similarly for the items that are lot or serial tracked we can post the negative and positive adjustments so now let's go to our lock tracked item we open that now the inventory for this item exists both in 1900 and 1896 bin let's select 1900 and it is going to give us a prompt that do you want to post the adjustment in this bin but we can select a different bin as well. So let's do or no. And it's going to ask me which bin would I would like to post the adjustment again. So let's select prod in bin and we hit okay. And let's do a positive adjustment and add some inventory in that bin. So lot one, two, and let's put 10 of this item in that bin. And it's gonna refresh and now that bin contains 10 of this item so it showed up in our inventory count page please uh, so so far this extension only works for the items which uh, sorry works for the location which are not warehouse tracked and that means the non-directed location so if this look this uh, 
menu action will only work for locations where uh, which are not detected otherwise it's going to throw us an error message when we try to put put the negative and positive adjustments for a location that is directed this concludes the demonstration for the extension and thank you for watching hey thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below don't forget to subscribe for more great content and remember to hit that bell icon to stay updated. See you in the next video.